remember it's part of the hello everybody and welcome back to another video of mine if you are new here i'm nina and i make cozy home videos because well i'm cozy and i'm at home and these videos of mine are videos that you can put in the background you can respond in the comments later on being in theme with home vlogs my home vlogs i'm gonna start this mini series and i'm gonna feature my friends i know i gave a little preview around december i'm gonna feature some of my friends that have some interesting stories that they would like to share and you'll see some of them in the next few vlogs that will follow today i wanted to talk about dating <laughs> It's a little bit juicy, just a little bit. And um, I wanted to talk about dating for people. Someone who isn't born in the same country as you, with the same nationality as you. And it's very interesting. And you learn a lot of things from not just your experience, but for the people who share similar experience that you have. So that's why I am including that topic for the following series that I am starting. It's about people's experiences and that includes dating. I actually am just recovering from being sick. I was suffering from a really strong cold this week and I'm sure it's part of the winter sickness, one of those. And yeah, we'll just take a sip of my coffee. I don't normally, like not all the time, drink coffee. I think I mentioned that previously, but today I feel like just having a little treat because I really just like the flavor of it. Not the effects, I'm really after just the flavor. Sometimes when I order ice cream or, I don't know, cakes, I just order like um, a tiramisu coffee flavored, mocha, or there's a chocolate um, with coffee flavor inside or something. I love that stuff. So when I got home, earlier because I worked this morning when I got home there was this I was supposed to have an interview with a student of the institution that I am tapping for my thesis the hour was well an hour ago and I was supposed to interview her um, of her experience in that institution and suddenly she told me yeah by the way I charge $150 for appearance um. I said, what appearance? I'm just really asking you as an individual how your experience was under the institution. It's crazy that she's asking me for $150. And I already said, I am not some company. I am a student making my master's thesis and I don't understand where the miscommunication was because it was clear and she agreed and suddenly on the day of our interview she says oh yeah I charge $150 because I represent this company and first of all I said hold on I am not gonna publish this for profit i am not doing that this is just to complete my requirement it's the first time and hopefully the last that a person has the audacity to charge that much just to answer just several questions not even the director of the institution asked me for a fee to ask about their personal opinion like off office hours this is just voluntary where she got that idea i have no idea but i informed her please be nice to students in the future because we're really just trying to get by with the little information that you all give us this is already tough enough to reach out to strangers let alone a stranger who asks for like a fee of not not 150 philippine pesos but 150 dollars <sighs> Now I'm just waiting for my friend and um, checking the questions that I want to ask her later. Just waiting for her to be ready. Okay. No. It's been so long. I know, man. so long talaga. But it feels like it's been so long. It's been long. Actually, how do I... Um, I'm gonna show in a tile. 
Ah, okay, okay. there we go. So we are in a tile now. So we're kind of equal. Oh. Yeah, so I can like show in, show a, in tile. a tile. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I yeah. Tried to, uh, such a non-digital native. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss you. It's been so long. I know. Oh. Intro okay. set has been a friend of mine since... Yeah, 2017. 2017? <gasps> That's been so long. Oh my god. I know. Okay, 2017. So, yeah. Yeah. And then we've been friends since. Wait, 2017? It's seven so years? It, Welcome yeah. to my home video and thank you for giving your consent. Thank you. <laughs> um, heads up, Cosette and I, like, we talk a lot. So, I gave her free reign of what to cut, what not to cut, because, you know, these are kind of personal questions. So, <laughs> you know, just have freedom of knowing what the hell is being published about you online so yeah okay so today we are gonna talk about dating french or foreign guys <laughs> it doesn't matter if you dated one or like kind of dated one or you dated like several like, it doesn't matter because it's still a date or it's still meeting it brings me to my first set of questions which is kind of loaded okay it's up to you if you want to share. Anyway, general okay. dating question. Number one, how often do you meet people for dates? Well, it depends. Last month, probably there's definitely like two or more within three weeks. Is that frequent for you or just like spaced enough for you to breathe and like gather your thoughts? I, guess. I think it's enough time for me to, because I don't go on dates like Every day of the week or no, something. Yeah. It's usually on weekends, some weekdays, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I don't really need to gather my thoughts. Okay, just, okay. Like, I, I just go about my life. Yeah, it's more of a casual thing. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. So with that, is your ideal date like casual or is it like sit down dinner? Like like what's your priority? Is it the vibes, the food, or if you're picked up or not, or like who's gonna pay for your grab or not? The funny thing is, I am not comfortable with sharing a meal with someone that I'm meeting for the first time. Really? So, like, I don't like having dinners. I would much rather have drinks with someone that I'm dating. What's more important for me would be the vibes. And also, like, you know how when you feel unsafe in public spaces, it's harder for you to have an appetite. Dangerous in general. Yeah. 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 So... The way I see it is, if I were to want to have like a sit-down dinner with a guy, mm -hmm. it would probably be when like I'm sure I'm interested in them. That's a higher level sit-down okay. dinner, but yeah. like a sit-down dinner that's like casual is when I feel like I could be good friends with them, regardless of whether or not I would continue dating them. Dating them or just like be friends with them or whatever. Yeah. At, yeah, yeah. As long as you like to talk to them. So basically vibes. Yeah. Definitely the vibe. Yeah, Super definitely. important. Yeah. The vibe. Can I click with you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, guess. I feel light around the guy. Mm, yes. Mm. Same for you? Same. Same. Like, I okay. cannot, if okay. the guy doesn't know how to talk or carry a conversation, holy crap, I'd be so bored. Like, I would tell him yeah. straight, like, man, this is not a date. This okay? Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Same. How do you get out of those dates? You asked, how do we get out of those, like, situations? First time I dated a guy in France. Really, we're talking through Google Translate. I was saying something, I'm showing him the screen, or like, play the audio, the awkward audio, and he would say something, I'm like, say it on my phone, man, because I can't understand you. So awkward af. So, um, how did I get out of it? I think I just told him, yeah, I'll stay here for just a week, so... I'm not gonna be too free. Basically, say I have a busy week, even if they just live. Yeah. Like, they're just like my neighbor or something. But I yeah. guess that gives off the vibe that, okay, yeah, I guess she's not into me because she's too busy for, I don't know, just a little walk yeah. across. I won't make time. Yeah, basically, I won't make time. Because yeah. you always can make time for things that you wanna do. Like, I don't know. Yeah. What would you do if the date was awkward? What have I done? What have you done? Yes. 
What have I done? I went on this date with this German guy who I found really boring. We just did not click. And I told, I texted my best friend a code word, mm. which meant, call me and pretend that there's an emergency that I can not get out of and I have to attend to immediately. So I texted her. Okay. She called me and I was like, oh, sorry, I have to go. <laughs> so I left. So you have like already a plan oh. of action. In the back of, of your course. Head. Oh my gosh, I you always that. have to have an exit strategy. So you mentioned you dated a German guy. So when dating a foreign guy, what is okay. the most striking thing about them? If you've dated like um, people from the West versus the East, my only point of reference is like dating Filipinos mm-hmm. versus dating um, any other. With Filipinos, the problem I have with it is. Uh, I think the feedback that I usually get is that my personality or the way I think isn't very conventional Filipino. So I get this a lot when people say like, you, you seem to think differently. Yeah. That's already like immediately a no for me, which I don't really like, which is also why I'm drawn to dating people from different cultures yeah. instead these days. When people say, oh, you think differently, it means like your pool of people is so small that you have never been familiar with diversity and opinion and thoughts in your life. So if you date that sort of person, in my experience, a Pinoy, a Filipino, that's already a sign that my world's gonna close in on me if I dated them. So I think that's the most striking thing about dating someone from a different culture is the fact that you're meeting each other with more curiosity, I guess. More openness and less judgment because when you're dating someone within the same culture, you already have set expectations and you're ready to like, like hold them against yeah. a certain criteria. Yeah, or like a checklist. Are they yeah. Yeah. Catholic? <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Are they Catholic? Will they get along well with yeah. my family? Will yeah. my mother hate her? Yeah. Does like, she wear short skirts? Like it matters. Yeah. Stuff like yeah, that. like how is she with her male friends? Yeah, how close how are they? Male there are rules from the the culture that you're in that get applied to you. Yeah, rules. Versus when you're meeting someone from a different culture, those rules don't really apply because mm-hmm. you're not from the same culture. Yeah. So there's less hanging over your head. Yeah. question I just thought of right now but what do we do with stereotypes how do we go about stereotypes like if you feel a conversation is leaning towards a question on stereotypes you know that feeling when you feel that ah okay they're probably expecting me to be like this because I'm from an Asian country or something like that like would you like me to be a submissive Asian Ah, shy around oh my god (laughs) Yeah, I hope it was never implied, but still. Um, wow, the German guy's getting a lot of airtime, but like, he asked so many questions about the Philippines. Okay. Like, he was like, is it dirty there? How's the architecture? If I walk around as a white guy, will I get like held up on Stop. the street or something? <laughs> and then the way I answered those questions was that I was really sarcastic about yeah, it. I yeah. was like, well, it seems like I'm alive, right? I'm talking to you unless you're talking to a ghost. <laughs> I get really like a bit like snippy around yeah, yeah. people with those kinds of questions. Like I, I really get sarcastic. Cause say, would you like ask someone from another culture that way, where you're leading with your assumptions? Yeah. Like, sure, you can say, oh, this is what I've heard from the internet. But you shouldn't imply, based on the way you ask questions, that this is what you actually believe. You have to be more curious. And by curious, I mean intellectually, like, Learning humble. about how, yeah, about how you intellectual use, humility. Yeah, how you use your yeah, like, yeah, words. And words. Right? Like, yeah. okay, this is what I read from the internet. How true is it? It's also in the manner of communicating these yeah. questions. Like, like, they're curious, but they're also dealing with like, judgment because mm-hmm. of the stereotype. Okay, That's how yeah. I know. Okay. I'm very sarcastic about it. I'm not a very patient person. Like, for me, it's not my burden to educate you. Yeah. about my culture if you're leading with an assumption unless you want to have 
a discussion with me, mm-hmm. if you want it to be a discourse, yeah. sure, I'll treat it gently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really how they Otherwise, ask. Yeah. ask they. yeah, it's really how they bring up the topic. It brings me to um, thinking about the way they speak. You know, certain cultures have this way of speaking. They're more negative. They say no a lot. Like the French do say no a lot. No, but blah, blah, blah. No, but blah, blah, blah. I noticed that with my own husband. But I tell him, can you please stop saying no if you're not speaking French? Because it doesn't make sense in English. You're literally agreeing with me. So can you not say no? Uh, Negating it right away. Right also, away. just manner of Manner speech. of speaking. But it gets to you yeah. sometimes. I don't know if yeah. I don't know if we have that. Do we have that? Do we delay things? Do we say mamaya na? Mamaya. Do we? Or I know it depends. In terms of what? Someone asks you to well, do something. Do you try to hop on it right away, or do you drop everything and you know the enthusiasm to give your attention to someone? You ask me nicely, right? <laughs> Back in the Philippines, we're kind of expected. To, to accommodate. Yeah, to be a so accommodating. Yeah. In your last date, who asked first? I think it's probably me. Oh. I was like, do you want to have a drink? Okay. Then set a designated date, time, and location. Okay. Oh, did he get the message right away or something? The message was pretty clear. The agenda was to drink. So like, he was okay. game for it. Because I think the last time you met with him was a, a while back. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, like to go. yeah. Does it matter who asks first, though? Does it or not anymore? Well, not for you or not for me. Yeah. But like, okay, specific to this date, my most recent date. He was the one. I just remembered. He was the one who asked first. But mm. when we met, mm-hmm. I was the one who asked first. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter. I think it's just like you're dating them more than once. You're meeting them more than once. It would be nice for it to be sort of like a tennis match. Okay. Like, that's fair. someone has to show that they're mutually interested in meeting up again. If it's just one person who keeps initiating, then I think then like that ain't the best. Yeah, it's it's sort of like you're you're wasting time with each other if one if just one person keeps initiating all the time. Which is sad because you know in our in our culture in the Philippines, it's always we expect the the dudes to do it first, and we think it's correct. You know, but we were raised to to think it was the yeah. right thing, and you know, as I as we got older, I thought, why, why the heck, why the heck should we take the cue from the opposite sex in this case for a hetero uh, dating yeah. preference, right? Like, why do we have to wait for the guy to ask? Why is it his schedule? Is it only his schedule that has to be checked? Oh yeah, he's free now. He can ask. Girl out, I don't get it. Yeah. So yeah, no same. It doesn't matter for me as long as you know you get it done. Honestly, if you want to meet. Then right. Meet. Like, we're planners. We have a lot yes. of other activities in our lives. If we want to like, if we want to go on a date, we'll say it. And if yeah. you're not interested, then I'll move on with my life and like list down my other activities exactly. to do. Exactly. I I I hate yeah. it that for women, especially in the Philippines, it's implied that we wait. Do they think like we have all this time in the world? And sometimes when I hang out with my guy friends, the one, the single ones, they're like also kind of complaining. Ah, I'm so tired of always asking the girl out. Can't they just like appear <laughs> or something? Because for them, the girl well, never probably. asks. So it really, yeah. really sucks. Honestly, that's a problem of dating within your culture. Yes, because you're abiding by these. Rules, regulations, terms, and conditions. Like, I did not agree to these terms and conditions. I would just, like to read them. They were just kinda expected to be etched in my brain for some reason. So I'm super glad that when I are exploring, or <laughs> I've explored, um, <laughs> down bad. Yeah, I'm married, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back to your date. <laughs> Was it your second date or your third? Se- second. Second date. Okay, so what did you notice with how they would respond with when asked a deep question? Or did you even ask any deep questions? Since I'm dating casually, I don't really right. try right. to go that route. Like, 
when we do talk about more um, serious topics maybe like interests i think okay or yeah. media that we consume okay and we comment about the media that we consume yeah well at least for my most recent date he was great at engaging in that topic of conversation he has a lot to say and he can draw from observations mm-hmm. or uh second-hand anecdotes from people that he's talked to or met yeah. or learned from and so it's nice because like well at least specific to that date there wasn't any defensiveness there also did you understand them like you you know what my vocabulary is like i mean i i grew up reading yeah but right? like we both are those types of people one out of the two people that i've dated who has a good vocabulary in english one is the french guy one is a portuguese guy good vocabulary which i think is a plus mm-hmm. last question would you date him again oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no hesitation oh yeah wait is he based yeah. in your city now your no location? no and why would okay. you do it again i always feel comfortable based on the two dates that i went on with him i wouldn't mind sharing a meal with him <gasps> that kind of thing. if you're seeing this <laughs> We know who you are. <laughs> Literally told my friend that I would oh see you gosh. again. Not kidding. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. Those, those are the qualities that <laughs> okay, I feel okay. about him. Thanks, This was Coco fun. Beans. Yeah, I'm so happy. Okay. Thanks, Cosette, for sharing your thoughts. <laughs> Bonus round. What qualities did you see in your husband that were indicators that you would definitely see him again? Well, first, I stole his jacket. So, attention! 